All right. Good morning, Rainbow Room. I hope you had an amazing weekend. I saw some really cool hats that some of my friends made. They're very fun. Now, um, in order to start today, uh, we're going to start on our calendar. Let's see. Let's do the days of the week really quick because we left off on Friday and we had the weekend, which is two days out of the week, and now we're starting on a new day. So let's do the days of the week really quick. Get your fingers ready or pat your flaps, whichever you'd like. All right, ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, friends. And if you enjoy singing that song, please share the video of you singing the song so that way the rest of our friends can see it. Okay. So we left off on Friday the 20th and it was the color orange. So the next day, we left off on Friday, the next day that comes after Friday is Saturday. So for after Friday was Saturday, but Saturday is the first day of the weekend. So we didn't have a video of our calendar. Now, Friday was the 20th, two and a zero. Two first, zero after, 20th. Now, what number do we think is gonna come next? The 21st. Now, if we look at our pattern, we start off with blue, yellow, green, red, purple, orange, and you got it. The last day of the week is pink. All right, so we've got our pink 21. See, two and a one. Pretty easy peasy. Now, there's one more day in the weekend. And it starts right at the beginning. Also starts with the letter S, but it's sun, sun, day, Sunday. All right, so let's see. Sunday is our first color of our pattern, which is blue. So, if Saturday was the 21st, Two and a one, Sunday is gonna be 22. That's right. All right, let's see. Oh, I got the wrong one. Here it is, 22, a blue 22. Fantastic, so now we can fill out this part. Yesterday was Sunday. Oh. Oh, it got stuck here. Let's put this back. Okay. So yesterday was Sunday. A blue day. Which, if yesterday was Sunday, that means today is... There's Sunday and there's Monday. That's right. Okay. So now we've got Monday on there. Today is Monday. That means tomorrow is... Starts with the sign... Language letter T for Tuesday. Let's find our Tuesday. Oh, this is Saturday. Tuesday. So, yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. Perfect. Okay, now that we know today is Monday, and it looks like it's going to be the color yellow, because we've got plenty of weeks in our pattern now, let's see what number it is. If Sunday was the 22nd, 22nd, two and a two, today will be the 23rd, which I think is going to have the numbers two in front and then the number three right behind it, just like that. Awesome, okay, fantastic. Now. Let's do our weather. Yesterday, on Sunday, it was very rainy where I live. It was raining a lot. I had to wear my rain boots to go outside to walk my dog. So, <clears throat> today, the sky looks very... Here, look, let's erase.
erase these from last time. Okay. The sky where I live looks very, very sunny today, actually. It looks sunny, and there's some clouds, just a tiny little bit, so I'll put a tiny little check mark there. So let me know what the weather is where you live. Oh, it is not raining. Let me know where the, what the weather is in Santa Monica. <clears throat> now, let's see. All right, we know what day it is. We checked our weather, fantastic. So now, um, I wanted to share a project with all my friends and see if they can do it. Because I know with Teacher Peter, we were talking about our skeletal system, and now we have our skull, our teeth, which are the only bones you can actually see. And we have our chest, which has our ribs that protect our lungs, won't take deep breaths. We have the bones in our arms, the bones in our fingers, and the ligaments are what helps us move our bones, because if not, we'd just be super stiff and we wouldn't be able to move much. So without our ligaments, we need our ligaments in order to move and grab things. We have our leg bones, our toes even have tiny, tiny little bones. So I wanted to see if my friends could make a skeleton with a skull, some ribs, some arms, hip bones, leg bones, and feet bones out of magnet tiles, building blocks, or Legos. So if you have magnet tiles at home, see if you can try to make one out of magnet tiles. If you don't have magnet tiles, or you wanna use building blocks, wooden building blocks that we have at school. If you have some of those at home, there's some pretty cool pieces. You can use some rectangle pieces for the legs or maybe some triangle pieces for the feet or the hands. Very cool. If not, if you have Legos, you can stack your skeleton up and then send me a picture. I would love to see your skeletons. And then we're also going to do another project today. I will send out to all the parents and fam rainbow families our next project with our <sighs> lungs. See if we can make our own lungs at home so you can see how the air fills up when you take a deep breath in <sighs> and then it shrinks back and today we're also gonna have a little yoga lesson with co with uh, teacher Dre from Angel Scouts. She made a video and in yoga we take lots of deep breaths. So when we're doing the yoga video, I would like for my friends to sometimes put their hands on their chest and feel how your lungs open up and then close back down as you're taking deep breaths. Okay, Rainbow Room, happy Monday. I will see you in a little bit on our Zoom meeting and then we'll have another calendar video tomorrow.